Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Nats here back with another video. We are on day two of the full release of MLB The Show 22. And I want to let you guys know that you can unlock the best card in the game for free. Now, reminder, it's going to take a pretty long time to get this done. The good thing is once you get him fully maxed out and all the way up to that 99, he is usable for the entire year. So the 99 overall that you can get is your ball player, creative player, road to the show player that you can get. And the cool thing is you get to customize him to however you want him to be. So let's get right into it. I'll show you step one. Okay, so step one, the very first thing you wanna, wanna do is go up to create right here, go into your vaults, and then you're gonna search here, search RTTS, that is for road to the show. You should get a bunch of different rosters here that are good for the road to the show grind, which will make it very fast. Basically what this is, is it makes every single team in the MLB have a zero overall team it's a bunch of joe randoms except for your team so the one that i like to go to is it's on page four yes it is made by can zella so make sure that you guys download this roster next thing we're going to want to do this is only for next gen if you guys are on current gen make sure that you are playing on the ship at stadium ballpark or uh, course field in Colorado. You want to look for a stadium that high, has the uh, high altitude and something that has, you know, normally somewhere where the ball is going to fly. If you're on next gen, we'll go ahead and hop into stadium creator here. Once you're in the stadium creator, you want to go to the vault right here. And then you're going to go ahead and search the name Gomes the Legend. You guys, I'm sure you know who he is. I'm not sure if he is the original creator of this stadium but I know he has it saved and it is in the vault. So we'll go ahead and look for that. And then once you have found that, you should be able to download this stadium here. It is called Blank Canvas. It should look like this. As you can tell here, the elevation is at 5279. I think that is the max. And if you look at the fences here, the fences are about a foot tall. So you can hit a home run <laughs> off of a line drive. I'm pretty sure I've come close to getting some ground rule doubles off of grounders and I'm not even kidding you. But yes, make sure you guys go ahead and download that. This stadium is literally everywhere because a lot of people are doing this for the XP and to get their uh, ballpark player or ball player up to a 99. So it's called blank canvas. Make sure you guys download that. Okay, so the next thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna hop into road to the show here. And I'm gonna start a new one and we'll go ahead and set up our ball player here. Now these are all the slots that you can create new ball players. You can create up to 10. I have two right now. I don't know why I have a starting pitcher. I haven't done anything on that, but my main guy is a shortstop, but we'll go ahead and create a new one just so you guys can see how to do this. So this is where you choose your play style. This is completely up to you. I recommend doing a position player that way you can actually use them in your lineup and you can basically use them anywhere on the field except for a catcher. Two-way players, that's the pitcher and basically a Shohei Otani. I don't recommend doing this. And you guys can do a pitcher as well. I will not be doing a pitcher, but if you have a cap pitcher and you max him out, he's pretty much unhittable. But we're gonna go with a position player. So now that we've selected that, we're gonna go with what we what type of hitter that we want to have uh i don't recommend doing fielding i recommend doing contact or power contact is good because you can get a little bit of everything basically in this picture here it shows trey turner yeah you can you basically get a trey turner you get somebody that's pretty fast somebody that can hit bombs uh, but you won't get anything that's maxed out really except for the contact of course uh and then power obviously is a good one this has been a meta for a long time it's always great to have power i did contact on my shortstop but i'm going to change it up this time we're going to go with power next you're going to choose your position i recommend somewhere in the infield and catcher i don't recommend anything in the outfield because this game releases a lot of really good outfielders and 
I don't think you want your ball player occupying one of those spots. So I'm going to actually go with shortstop. So your next screen here, is, I'm not going to actually go through all this, but this is fully customizable. You can update your player's name, number, blah, 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 their batting stance, throw hand, all that good stuff. I do recommend doing a switch hitter though, because switch hitters always have an advantage in this game. You can also do your physical appearance and change how your ball player looks and your motions and sounds is where you'll get your batting stances and your animations and your walk up music and all that good stuff. And then last but not least here is your equipment. I wouldn't even bother touching this because the equipment that you're going to be wearing is the equipment that you will be buying in the marketplace that will help you with your attributes and give you a lot of boosts. Okay, so next we're going to go into our loadout here. This is what it's going to start out as. We will go into my other ball player to show you what the end product will look like. But this is what you'll start with. I always recommend doing a I always recommend starting off with the sparking slugger. That way you get that little boost in power so you can hit home runs pretty much every single time you're at the play. I'm not even kidding. When you put in those rosters and you play on the stadium that I told you guys to download, you're going to hit a home run almost every single time. So sparking slugger and then underneath here there's two little perks that you can put on you won't start off with these diamonds that i have here you won't start with these golds either or the silvers these are all unlockable you do not have to buy these you can buy these in the marketplace but uh, as you progress you will unlock these and you can hang on to them and mess with these perks a little bit to see what your attributes look like but this is more so what it's going to look like I would recommend, again, starting off with something along the lines of power and then maybe putting in, let's see here, I think there's a contact one as well. Yes, put in contact as well. Anything that's going to help you hit. Okay, so now we're pretty much ready to go. We're going to go ahead and hit activate here. And then you'll go to your road to the show option here. And then this is where the rosters come in. So you're going to want to go ahead and load saved rosters. We're going to load in that roster that I had you guys download. All right, so there it is. Okay, so now we're underway. We should have that roster. Now, this part right here is very, very important. You're gonna get a series of questions. I don't know why they don't just let you pick a team right here, but you're gonna wanna make sure you read all this and this is what we're gonna pick. We're gonna make sure that we pick the, there's one team I've heard from more than a couple times. He's gonna say, let me guess whomever. You're gonna wanna make sure that you narrow it down all the way to the, uh, Phillies. You want to make sure you're in the Phillies. So he's guessing the Cubs now. Uh, no, it's an NL East team. That is the Phillies. And he will give up finally. And you want to choose the Phillies. Do not pick any other team because you will be on a team full of bad players. All right. So there you have it. We got picked by the Phillies. Great. So now that means that every team that we play, we're going to be hitting up against zero overall players and since your team is not surrounded by a bunch of zero overalls you will get more bats as well not even kidding you during these games your the score is going to look like 20 to nothing in every single game and you're going to get like six to seven at bats each time which is huge so the next thing you guys are going to want to do is go into league here and then go into stadium assignment now this is going to be a little bit time consuming you're going to want to go to every single team and change this to the created stadium that we downloaded earlier. Now, like I said earlier, if you guys are on current gen, go ahead and change this to the field that you wanna do. So if it's ship it, you can go into minor league stadiums and change it over to ship it stadium. Okay, so now that we've done that, you can see here, anywhere we go, anywhere we play at any level, national and American league, we will be playing at blank canvas. So there's, you're, you're guaranteed pretty much two to three home runs every single game. All right, so I actually jumped over to my other player. We're at an 82 overall now. I wanted to jump over this so I can show you everything. So this is what my loadout is actually looking like. Eventually, once you get everything fully grinded out and you get that final archetype unlocked, you get three choices here. The dart, the tool shed, and the spoke. The tool shed is basically your power header which is what I'm using right now. The dart is basically a contact hitter with some fielding, and the spoke is a contact hitter 
with some speed and you get really good boost here you get a nice little 36 boost in speed 45 in contact these these are what you're grinding for and you want to go ahead and unlock these so the best way to check where you're at on that grind is to hover over your little archetype here and then hit x and that'll be square on playstation so i'm in the diamond contact uh section right now when you first start out it's going to start out in bronze and we'll go back to that and check that but along the way you're going to be unlocking all of these diamond equipment you're going to be unlocking perks getting some xp and at the end of the bronze silver and gold here there will be a new archetype that you can unlock so i'm back on that joe random guy that we just made we'll hit x or square and here's your bronze starting point so it looks a little bit different but you're still going to get some perks you're going to get some uh equipment but it's not going to be game changing stuff where you're really going to start making some things that are worth it is when you get that gold stage and you finish those missions to get there. Um, the way to earn progression in these is to go into your missions here and basically everything here that you see is progression towards that and you're going to you're going to get these done very quick and I'm going to go ahead and show you that right now. Okay, so you've got your stadium set up you've got your roster set up you're pretty much ready to grind and from here on out it's going to be a cakewalk for you just remember it's going to be very time consuming you do not have to do this all in one sitting remember that you can get your guy up to usable ratings like i said my guy's at an 82 right now which he's really probably closer to a 90 right now because of the boost and stuff like that and the perks that you can get and actually we're gonna jump in there and look at that so if we go to our loadout i didn't actually cover this as much because i don't have everything that i want but if you look here there is equipment that you can wear and this equipment will give you little boosts actually really big boosts toward your attributes so for instance this diamond bat that i'm using i'm getting plus nine power to my hitting and plus five contact um, at first i used to use the Shohei Otani Collector's Edition. So this bat came with the Collector's Edition and it gives you plus eight power and plus eight contact. So this is almost better than that bat. I just use this one because I just want that additional power. I want as much power as I can get. I'll probably go back and forth, honestly, because they're both really good bats to use. And I'll, I'll go into the marketplace here and show you what is out there. I don't have all of those yet because they're very expensive right now, but I do have at least some kind of equipment for each section to kind of help me out everywhere. So if we hop into our marketplace in Diamond Dynasty and go to equipment and perks, this will list off everything that's in the market that can be equipped on your ball player and really help you out. Like for instance, these cleats are awesome. They're plus 11 speed. You can get some real good boosts on these and it'll make your ball player ball player go over the top with his attributes like right here another plus 13 but remember these are very expensive i think the good ones that you're gonna want to have you're gonna want to save up for these save some stubs and invest in these cleats and these bats because ultimately down the line you're gonna be using this creative player or ballpark player a lot so you're gonna to wanna to make sure you invest in the more expensive stuff. Now, also, if you guys hop into your rituals, there is a ritual on here that you want to have. It's a little pricey, but it's called Legendary Call. It is a picture of Babe Ruth pointing, and you can buy it actually right now for 46,000. I think it will go down as time goes on. It might not, I don't know, but you're gonna to wanna to save up for this and you need to have this. This is an additional plus eight and plus eight contact and power to your ball player which is awesome so if you equip that shohei otani bat and this legendary call that's plus 16 to power and contact on both sides that is huge but yeah guys we're back to road to the show here and the only thing that i have equipped as far as equipment is that bat and a couple of other silver things Honestly, I would I would focus on maxing out our guy first 
before we get those rituals and the collectibles that we can equip on our player because as you get further when you get to the diamond area you get some free diamond equipment packs that you can get lucky on and get exactly what you want and at 150 in diamond you get another unlockable here a diamond perk couple perks and another unlockable so you could get lucky right here and pull that babe ruth ritual that i was showing you that'll give you plus eight power and plus eight contact so i wouldn't focus on buying those diamonds until you have everything maxed out and you know exactly what you need to buy okay so now that that's all done we know exactly what we need to do and that's just play the game grind it out hit dingers and progress our guy now this might not pop up as a bronze player but once you get a little bit further into road to the show before each series of your games you're gonna have a little bit of a training session here that you can choose and that'll give you a little bit of a boost on your attributes so this is what i do when this pops up i will choose something that i'm trying to progress right now i'm gonna go to the batting cage and i'm trying to get my uh contact up all the way the max uh value for each of these is 50. once you get the 50 this is maxed out so here's what i do i'll click on contact here and it's going to tell me where it'll be once the drill is done i don't play the drill you can if you want but i'll go ahead and skip and it'll say attributes progress usually it goes up maybe one or two sometimes it doesn't even go up at all but i don't ever waste the time to play those I just play in the games and before we get into our game here we're gonna make sure that we hop into our settings this is crucial this is gonna save you a lot of time you're gonna want to go into the mode specific in settings make sure that your settings are matching mine you're gonna make sure that your player lock fielding opportunities are set to none now if you want to you can put it to some that way you can progress your fielding a little bit more but I always keep it on none because I can just go into the training options and progress my fielding that way. And then you also wanna make sure that your player lock base running opportunities are set to none as well, because you don't wanna waste time having to run the bases. And then the next thing you wanna do is back out of there and then go over to our presentation here. Make sure, your, make sure that your presentation mode is set to fast play and make sure that you turn off your batter walk up. All of this is going to save you guys some time and you're gonna miss some presentation but that is fine we're gonna be grinding we don't want to waste any time so look at the rosters here everything is a Joe random these are all zero overalls and look at my batting average <laughs> I've played probably over 200 games and yeah that's how I'm hitting it's pretty much a home run every single time and it's very easy I also forgot to mention go into your settings and make sure that you're playing on rookie you can play on veteran if you want or even minors or amateur but i'm just gonna stay on rookie if you play on veteran you, you i think you do get a little bit more xp but honestly it's it's not a huge difference so just stay on rookie all right so first at bat let's see what we can do hopefully we get a dinger and look at that and it wasn't even a good swing it was just late and my pci wasn't even on it and it's a home run you can completely miss the ball and somehow it'll find a way to leave. So see how fast that was? Boom, boom, we're already back up to batting. There's no presentation, there's no walk up. It's just quick, it's it's just go, go, go. That was horrible. Notice I am on the Baltimore Orioles. You guys will stay on the Phillies. I made a mistake and I, did, I made some decision where I got traded to the Orioles. I still get a lot of at bats, but if you guys stay on the Phillies, you will get like six or seven at bats each game, which is huge. But I'm, I'm getting like four to five with this Orioles team. I don't know what I did to get traded. All right, see, there you go. Nice little hit there. It won't be a home run. But the good thing is if you don't hit home runs and it stays in, you get to run the second. You get plus whatever for clutch. You get some attribute increases for your speed as well so that's a good help there if you don't hit a home run it's perfectly fine you're gonna hit a lot of ground rule doubles on this field as well because this 
defense is so low. That actually might be one right there. Nope, that's a home run. See, like I'm barely hitting these. Now this method is also very good towards XP. It's actually the number one way to earn XP. I'm actually maxed out on XP right now, so I can't earn any more XP for the day. I think it's like nine hours or something like that. But you, you wanna try to max out your XP every single day. I think I'm at like level 15 right now in the face of the franchise program, which is awesome. And I've gotten a lot of good players out of it. I've almost got an all diamond starting nine. So after every game, you'll see what your attributes change to. All of these max out at 50. So once you get everything to 50 is when you're completely done with this ball player. Not gonna play any more games. It's pretty straightforward. All you guys have to do is just keep playing games earning XP and earning attribute increases. It's going to take a while. I will tell you guys that right now. It's going to take a long time, but you've got to keep grinding. Just keep going, put maybe a couple hours each day and you'll have a really good player within a couple days. And remember guys, as time goes on, you will progress through these missions and you'll unlock cool new things. Make sure you don't buy any kind of uh, perks or unlockables until you unlock everything because you could potentially pull them in here All of these perks that you see here are from those programs and missions that I completed I did not buy any of these and Sometimes you pull the right ones and that's all you need like this speed Attribute that you see here. I did not buy that. It's probably pretty expensive on the market and I have it equipped As well as the fielding contact and power this is not the build that I'm gonna go with when everything's said and done. I'm just running with this for now. But the good thing is if you hold on to all these, don't sell them because you're gonna to wanna to experiment with it when everything's done. See what's what, see how you can make that player that can do literally everything. Because with the right perks, you'll be able to make it work. So I hope this method works for you guys. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out in the comments and I will help you guys out. I hope it, it I explained it as best as I could. It's pretty simple. It's just very long time consuming and it's quite the grind. Let's actually go into Diamond Dynasty and see what my ball player is looking like right now. So to find your ball player in Diamond Dynasty and to see what his current attributes are looking like, you'll go to his current position and then you'll scroll over to 65 overall. Now, he's not actually a 65 overall, and I know his stats look horrible right now, but if you hop into a game, and when you're setting your batting order, you'll be able to see what his actual stats are. And then right as you're setting your lineup, it should show in here. There's Itzel, so those, wow. Those are his actual stats right now. Reminder. These are without all diamond equipment and it's without the uh, unlockable ritual that's out there that you can equip as well. Look at his hitting. Dude, he might be the best hitter in the game already. So once you get all that stuff equipped, he's probably like a mid 90s player right now. But once you get all that equipped, he's easily going to be a 99 overall. So yeah, guys, that's going to be it. Uh, I showed you my Itzel Herman. He will be in the squad probably in our next video because his hitting is absolutely disgusting. But we still have a lot of grinding to do. We still need to max this guy out. I hope this method will help you guys and I hope that you guys capitalize on this because this is the best card in the game. If you guys enjoyed it, please consider subscribing to the channel and throwing a like on the video. It would be much appreciated. You guys are awesome. I'm out of here. Peace.